a finished song is not truly finished until you can share it with the rest of the world. So in this GarageBand for iOS quick jam tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can share your finished GarageBand project as a song file with the rest of the world. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete. This is Studio Live Today, where I help you create, record, and release your best music. Now, before you can release your music, you need to be able to export it. So if, like me, you use GarageBand on your iPad or your iPhone, you need to know how to effectively export your GarageBand project as a song file so that you can share it via email, via message, and save it to your files. So let's jump in to GarageBand on the iPhone here now and take a look. So here we are once again in GarageBand here on my iPhone. On the iPad is almost exactly the same. I have my finished song here. This is my new song called Never To Blame and it sounds a bit like this. So I'm happy with my final sound here and now I want to export this as either an M4A compressed file or a full resolution wave or AIF file. So what I need to do is go out of the song, I'm tapping in the top left, I'm going to go to my songs. Now I need to tap on the select button in the top right, I need to tap on the song file, so in this case never to blame V5. I'm going to tap on that one and then along the bottom here we've got four icons. I want to tap on the leftmost icon, the square, with the arrow and that is my share option. Now from here, I can share my project as a song file, as a ringtone, and as a project. Now if you want to learn about ringtones, I've got a fun little video all about creating ringtones. That will be linked up the top and down below as well right now. And if you want to share as a project, I'm actually going to cover that in a future video. So if you're in the future, check the link up the top right now or check down in the description. But if you're not, subscribe to the channel and you'll be notified as soon as that video is released all about exporting as a project. But for now, we are going to tap on the song button and start our exporting process. So here we are in our share song settings and you can see we first of all have our audio quality. Now I would all but ignore low quality and medium quality. These are throwbacks to old school codecs and very bad quality audio. If you're using spoken word or something and you want really small file sizes, maybe use those. But I would suggest you want to start with at least high quality or highest quality. And these two are actually compressed files. So they're not MP3 files, they're actually M4A, which is Apple's version of a compressed file, which means your file sizes are going to be, for a regular three to four minute song, around about five megabytes. Really good for emailing or sharing via those sort of methods. However, if you want a full resolution audio file, let's say you want to master it or you want to release it to something like SoundCloud or using DistroKid to release your files to Spotify, iTunes and the rest, you will want uncompressed WAV file. Now you'll see here that I've got 44.1 kilohertz, 24 bit. If you don't see 24 bit, if you see 16 bit check out my video which will be linked up the top and down below about how to enable 24-bit audio because by default GarageBand will be 16-bit you want 24-bit so enable that in your settings check out that video if you need to know how once we have selected these you'll notice down the bottom here we have our metadata now it's grayed out at the moment because we can only add our metadata with a compressed file format it's because the AIF and the WAV file don't store tags or metadata data in the file. So if we select say a high quality M4A file here, then we can come down here and we can adjust the artist name, we can adjust the composer, and we can change the name of the album. So we can set those to what we want and we can also then customize our cover image. So if we want to do this, we tap on choose photo. Let's go into our photos here. We can just go into our camera roll and I happen to have my album artwork there. I tap it and then I hit done. And now if I share this as a high quality MP3 or M4A in this case file, it's going to have that album artwork as the artwork for this file. Let's do this now and tap on share. And we are now presented with our share options. Now the first one up there is AirDrop. So if there's another iOS device within range, you can actually drop this file straight to that device. So that will pop up there and all you need to do is tap and just like sending a photo, you can AirDrop that to your other iPhone, your iPad, your iPod Touch. The next row of icons here is to export it or to share it with another app. So if I wanted to say copy this to my Google Drive or I wanted to share it to SoundCloud, I can email it, I can 
can use Facebook Messenger, I can send it to Gmail. A couple of words of warning here, if you are going to message or use iMessage or Messenger or something like that, there are limitations to the file size and the amount of audio you can share. So keep that in mind if you're sharing a longer song file or a larger file type, it may not be supported. Email gives you a little bit more flexibility and then the option you want to choose if you want to share a file of a larger size is down the bottom here. You want to actually save the file so that you can save it to either your iCloud, your device, your iTunes, or some other sort of cloud sharing platform. So our second row of options here are our file save options. And I'm gonna go through the first two here. There are some other options, but the basics are save to files or iTunes. Now, a lot of people get a little bit misled here when they tap on iTunes. That is gonna send it to your iTunes file sharing. Now, I've got videos about file sharing, which I will link up above and down below. It doesn't send it to the music app or your iTunes app on your phone. So keep that in mind. If you wanna share it on your phone, unfortunately, there's no way to do that right now without syncing to a Mac or a PC and then syncing that back onto your phone. So the best way to do it from here is to actually save to files. Now I've got another video all about the files app if you want to learn more about this, but let's tap on save to files. It's now going to export and encode that song. So what it's doing is it's mixing down the track into a stereo file and then it's encoding it using the M4A encoder in this case, which is compressing the data and making sure that we have this small file size that we can then share. So we'll let this finish exporting and then we'll come back and we'll show you the next step. So our mix down, our compression, and our export has been done. So you can see here we have our file name, which is never to blame, v5.m4a, which is our file that we want to now save. We now get to choose the location. So depending what you have set up in your files app, you'll have iCloud Drive, you'll have on my iPhone or iPad, and then you'll have any other cloud platforms that you have. Now, when you're sharing a song file, you can go your hardest. You can share this to Dropbox, to Google Drive, to anywhere you like. And in my view, that's the best way to do this to save it somewhere in the cloud and then you can share that link with anyone you like if you email it directly or you message it directly you run into some of those other limitations so for the case of this one let's tap on iCloud Drive and I already have my music folder here on iCloud Drive so I'm going to do that and tap on add now this is going to add it to my iCloud Drive and it's also then going to upload it to my iCloud Drive so that I can access it from other devices and I have a backup copy of this M4A file now so if we want to see where that is now let's click out of here and then let's go to our files app so to find our files app we slide down and then let's type in files and tap on files and now we can go to iCloud Drive and scroll down here and find music and we should find our file here there it is never to blame v5 it's already uploaded at 3.3 megabytes and it is ready for us to use so we can now it's stored we have a backup copy on our iCloud Drive, we can now use this file to share in any way that we like, and it is here forever. So we can do the same if it was a WAV, an AIF, or an M4A file, and now it is stored on our iCloud Drive, and the same would apply if we stored it on any other location. And there you go, everything you need to know about exporting and sharing your song files here in GarageBand on your iPhone or your iPad. If you've got any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can leave those down below. Check out the links in the description if you want to learn more about exporting and sharing your song files and I'll see you on the next video. Hey, thanks for sticking around. Did you know that we've got a whole bunch more GarageBand Quick Jam tutorials? Two of them are linked right down below. You can also subscribe to the channel by clicking on the Studio Live Today icon in the top right corner or head on over to studiolivetoday.com for even more audio goodness.